last video. I wanted to show you a couple of tricks that I had done on this particular page because there's like three, actually four tricks. And But the first one I wanted to start off with is layering. So this is the layout, but I'm going to go over here to a new page that I've created. And I'm just going to show you some of the steps that I took to get to this uh, or get to that previous page with a few layers of DSP and some overlays. I use overlays almost on every single page just to give extra texture. So what I did was I came here, started with a brand new page by going up to insert, add page, and it comes up blank. And typically my first route is to go up to my backgrounds and I add cardstock. And I like to start with cardstock and I like to add textured cardstock. Now the thing about textured cardstock is I don't get, um, I still can't see that texture like I want to. So I'm going to add a few layers. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually create a punch. And I typically start off with a square punch. And I'm going to make that pretty darn big. And I'm going to come over here and I want to drag it so it actually runs off the page just a little bit. Because I'm going to give it a little tilt. Not much, just a little bit. About like that. And bring it down just a wee bit. You'll see, I can see some blue over there, so I'm going to extend it just a little. And this time I'm going to paper fill it. One of my new favorite uh, papers is the Be Awesome Today. It's just got some great colors. I love it. And it's great if you're doing a summer album. So we need to extend it over on this side. And there we go. Now, if I wanted those circles just to be a little bit smaller, I can double click on it and I can come over here to the zoom and I can zoom out or I can zoom in. We're going to leave it as is because it's perfect just the way it is right now. But I still want to add a little bit of texture onto it. So I'm going to come over to my stamps and I'm going to add a stamp. And the first stamp I want to add is the natural overlays. Don't mean to make you dizzy. This is by far my favorite overlay to use. So I'm going to use, uh, there's two that I love. Number 9 and number 11 are kind of my go-to overlays. Now, once you do that, you see that it gives, you know, it's got it's a lot of black and that doesn't look pretty. So we're going to go over to the opacity and I'm going to bring it way down. By doing that, you can see it just adds enough texture to that layout that makes it really um, kind of have that crinkly look. And I really like that. But I'm going to add another punch. And again, it's just going to be a square punch that I'm going to fill. I'll close that out. And I'm going to add one more layer of cardstock. And, you know, I would do this just like I would do. Um, uh, a normal layout really. We need to make this a little bit wider. Oops, that wasn't the wrong one. See, get my layers confused. All right, bring that down a little bit because I still want to see that polka dot just coming out a wee bit. And I'm also going to tilt this one a little bit. And this time I'm going to go uh, back to paper fill. I'm going to come back up to my cardstock my textured cardstock, and this time I'm actually going to do Whisper White. <clears throat> As you can see, I need to extend it just a little bit more so it's covering the full page and it's not covering it way down here, so let's just extend it a little bit more. And then this time I'm going to come back up to my stamps and I'm going to add a stamp and now I'm going to add my natural composition overlay number 11. Now, this time I want to bring it down a little bit because I don't want it covering that other area up above. And I'm going to tilt it to match um, the Whisper White cardstock that I put on. It needs to be tilted just a wee bit more. And we'll bring that up. 
and I'm going to actually extend that just a wee bit just so I know for sure. And you'll be able to see it. Now I'm not going to keep it like that. That opacity, I should say. Let me turn that just a wee more. There we go. Perfecto. I'm going to come over here, enlarge it a little bit because I see a piece at the bottom. And then I'm just going to move it down so it's even with that Whisper White cardstock. Next, I'm going to bring the opacity down. And that's too much. So let's bring it back up to 40. It's just perfect. Now I really feel like I have that nice textured cardstock just by using that one overlay. So there you have it. That is just a quick, um, how does Kimberly put a lot of layers on, uh, starting with her digital uh, layouts. And I hope that helps you uh, on a starting point with your uh, digital layouts. So, and watch back for more. I've got some more uh, videos coming your way. Have a great day.